Hello everyone and welcome to game 3 of the Rapids of the 2018 World Chess Championship between Magnus Carlsen and Fabiano Caruana. Uh, Carlsen is 2 points in the lead, this is game 3, it's 2-0 uh, to zero for Carlsen. If you haven't checked out the first two games, I will put a link to them in the description below, so be sure to check that out as well. And uh, I haven't been including any photos so far as I'm basically just uh, showing you the games as they were played. Uh, but I, I will show one as it's uh, very nice to have it as a photo challenge. So uh, here it is. Who is the person making the first move for Carlson? Uh, there you have it. Now... Uh Caruana has the black pieces and to get back into this match to even reach uh, the Blitz mini matches he now has to win two games in a row against Carlsen. Uh, he starts this game with the black pieces so in this game he needs a win, Carlsen knows it and he will make it as hard for him as possible. So let's see how the game went. Uh, Carlsen opens with e4. Uh, we have c5, uh, Caruana again goes for the Sicilian as now there is <laughs> no more time uh, for Caruana to... Uh, to even uh, try going for the for the calm Petrov. Uh, knight to f3, uh, we have e6 uh, and c4, the Kramnik variation. Uh, we have knight to c6, d4, c captures on d4, knight captures on d4, and now bishop to c5. And Carlsen goes knight to c2. Uh, from c2, the knight does an excellent job controlling b4, d4, and e3. Uh, a lot of very nice squares. Uh, so, uh, knight to f6, and already we have a new move uh, uh, in, the, in the position. Uh, th I was not able to find this move anywhere in the database. Uh, and the knight to c3. Now we have this very nice Marozzi motif where Carlsen will uh, do everything he can to control the d5 square. The queen, the knight, uh, both of the pawns are controlling d5, and he basically says, uh, you are not uh, pushing d5 in this game, and, uh, you know, I'm perfectly satisfied with the draw. If you draw this game against me, I am world champion. Uh, we have castles by Caruana, bishop to e3, uh, offering a trade of bishops, uh, and now b6. And Carlsen goes bishop to e2. Uh, you don't really gain anything by exchanging here. You will simply promote uh, a b pawn to a more central c pawn, and after something like bishop to d3, now black can play d6, and black will enjoy a very nice uh, pawn center. So after b6, bishop to e2, and now comes bishop to b7. So Carlsen will most likely castle kingside, and Caruana does have a very nice bishop pair uh, eyeing at Carlsen's kingside, but, uh, you know, it's uh, much too early for such uh, conversations. Uh, we have castles by Carlsen, queen to e7, developing a queen, connecting rooks. Also, the queen is now guarding the bishop on c5, so perhaps even queen captures on c5 will be possible, although unlikely. Uh, queen to d2, Carlsen does the same, and now rook f to d8. Uh, Caruana would very much enjoy <laughs> pushing d5 at some point. Uh, we have rook to d1 by Carlsen, uh, knight to e5, and now comes bishop captures on c5. Pawn captures on c5, and now f4. Carlsen uh, forces Caruana's knight to move from this very nice central square that is e5. Knight to g6, and now queen to e3, uh, giving more protection to the e4 pawn as it is attacked by the, both the knight and the bishop here. Uh, we have d6, and now comes rook to d2. Uh, Carlsen now, of course, wants to double up on the d-file, and Caruana will uh, try to do the same. First a6, taking away the b5 square from Carlsen's knight. Uh, we have rook a to d1, and now queen, to, queen back to c7. Uh, at some point, if uh, uh, ideas uh, might uh, come that if d5 is played, then the knight from g6 and queen will both be attacking the pawn on f4. Uh, we have b3, and now comes h6. Uh, we have g3 by Carlsen, now reinforcing uh, the, uh, the f4 pawn, also controlling the h4 square, taking it away from the knight. Uh, and here he we have rook to d7. Corona makes room for the other rook to enter the game. Uh, bishop to f3. Uh, a very nice move, controlling the e4 square, but also at some point if Carlsen does push e5, uh, then also the bishops will, uh, you know, uh, attack each other. And here, rook to e8. First, uh, perhaps uh, Caruana is considering to push e5, uh, but there is always uh, time to m move the rook back to, d to d8. Uh, you can't really play moves you would usually play because, uh, well, Carlsen is more, <laughs> more than satisfied with a draw. A draw wins him the world chess championship, the world champion title. Uh, so, queen to f2 by Carlsen. Uh, we have knight to e7 and here h3. Uh, taking away the g4 square even further from the knight, but also at some uh, variations preparing g4. Uh, rook e to d8, now Caruana does double up on the d-file and here bishop back to g2. Uh, we have knight to c6, uh, now with ideas of perhaps pushing e5 himself, the knight is now nicely controlling d4, but knight to b4 might also be an idea in the future. 
Uh, but Carlsen here is not satisfied. He doesn't want to repeat moves with uh, bishop to f3. Rather, he goes for the win. Uh, he goes with g4. Uh, we have queen to a5. And here, Corwana uh, did... Uh, he, he has to try something, but there's not a lot of things he can do. He can't push any of the pawns. Uh, the pawn moves are not possible. He can't really improve the position of his pieces. I mean, the rooks are... Uh, the rooks are simply too good uh, on the d-file, also they, they do have to protect the d-pawn. Uh, so you have to try something. Queen to a5 was played, but now Carlsen strikes with a very nice move. Knight to a4. And now you can see that uh, if e5 ever comes, then after pawn captures, the c5 pawn will become very weak. But there is an even greater threat. For example, <clears throat> uh, if Caruana does a slow move here, uh, let's say something like bishop to a8, just a waiting move, then g5 is very dangerous. Pawn captures, pawn captures, knight has to move, and after the knight moves now, you don't even have to uh, create any weaknesses. You can simply capture on c5, and black cannot recapture. If he recaptures, then he loses a whole rook here after rook captures on d7. So, after knight a4, Caruana simply decided to go back. We have queen to c7, and now comes e5 by Carlsen, uh, deciding to trade everything down and uh, simply enjoy his position. d captures on e5, knight captures on c5, forcing a rook trade, rook captures, rook captures, rook captures, and queen captures. Here, uh, for the time being, uh, Carlsen controls the d-file, and also he would very much enjoy capturing the bishop on b7. So Caruana moves it. Uh, if you play e captures on f4 too soon, uh, then first knight captures, queen captures, and then as the bishop is already very nicely attacking the knight here, queen d6 with a double attack against the knight, uh, and also... Uh, it's, uh, it's just a very nice position. Okay, black can get out with check, uh, but then, then you can recapture on f4, so nothing really going on here. Uh, but as Corwana can't afford to trade any further pieces, and he really does like his very strong bishop, bishop to a8. Uh, f captures on e5, and now queen captures on e5 by Corwana. Knight captures on e5 is also a possibility because it opens up an attack against Carlsen's knight on c5, but then let's say you play bishop captures on a8, now uh, capturing on c5 would in fact be good for black, this comes with check, but the problem is uh, white will not capture immediately. <clears throat> First Carlsen would capture on e6, and only then after pawn captures, capture here, and then after knight captures on c4, you don't want to allow this knight to be to be to uh, uh, stay undefended. Uh, a knight captures, pawn captures, and after queen to uh, a7 check, king mo uh, queen will block, and now you will uh, grab uh, another pawn, but after queen captures on e6, uh, white will again be up a pawn. So nothing uh, good to be done here for black. So instead, Caruana goes for queen captures on e4, and this is in fact the strongest idea. Uh, knight to d7 by Carlsen. Uh, here Carlsen had the possibility to capture the a6 pawn, but uh, he calculates precisely that. He doesn't need it. He goes knight to d7, offers a trade of knights, also this comes with an attack on the queen, but he allows this very nice infiltrating move with queen to b2. Uh, and after queen to b2, we have queen to d6 by Carlsen. Uh, again, uh, offering uh, the queen to capture on c2. Uh, but if queen captures on c2, you get queen to f8 check, and this is a, a forced, uh, forced uh, draw. Uh, after king moves, knight captures with check, captures, and now queen captures on f7. White can force a perpetual, and a draw is enough uh, here for Carlsen. Uh, let me just uh, fix that. Uh, so after queen queen to d6, we have knight captures on d7, uh, queen captures on d7, and now queen captures on d2. And now comes queen to e8, check, king h7, and queen captures on a8. So here, although it seems very dangerous... Uh, Carlsen does have uh, uh, better pieces, uh, he, his bishop is very strong, but then again his king is uh, somewhat feeling the draft, and if this knight can come into the game, could be very dangerous. So queen to d1, check by Caruana, king h2 and queen to d6, check. King to h1, and now comes knight to d4. Uh, it, this knight is coming closer and closer, and it could get very dangerous if this knight, for example, can come to e2, queen d1, check, queen g1, could be, could be very dangerous. So, queen to e4, check by Carlsen. Uh, we have f5, and now g captures on f5. Uh, knight captures on f5 is possible, but Caruana has different plans for this knight. We have e captures on f5, and now queen back to e3. Uh, knight to e6 by Caruana, and now comes b4. A very nice move, because, of course, you cannot capture it. The knight will be hanging on e6. So, after b4, we have knight to g5. And here, the queen is very nicely uh, controlling the f4 square. If Caruana can get f4 in and f3, that would be very good for black. 
Uh, so Carlson doesn't uh, waste any time. We have c5 attacking Caruana's queen, queen to f6, and now c6. Uh, the bishop is very nicely controlling this pawn. Uh, and here we have knight back to e6. Uh, here, we uh, also a possibility was f4. It seems like a very nice move, threatening f3. Uh, but Carlsen simply gets too much after this queen to d3 check. King to h8, and now after c7, uh, c8 is coming. There is really no way to prevent this. f3 would just be too slow. So, after c6, we have knight to e6, uh, and now comes a4. Uh, Knight to c7 by Caruana, we have queen to f4, attacking the knight on c7, and now knight back to e6. Uh, here we have queen to d6, uh, as you can see the moves were repeated here. Uh, from e3 we had uh, knight c7, queen f4, and now uh, Caruana played knight back to e6, and Carlsen actually could repeat here with queen to e3, and then ask Caruana, do you want a draw by repetition with knight to c7, uh, or will you try and figure out something else? Everything else is just bad, as you do have to prevent uh, this pawn from coming to b5. Uh, but Carlsen actually goes for the active line. Queen to d6, and now comes queen to a1 check. Caruana has to try something. Uh, king to h2, and now comes knight to d4. Uh, Carlsen pushes his pass pawn, as of course pass pawns must be pushed. c7. And here, queen to c3 by Caruana. Uh, interestingly, if knight e2, yes, you are threatening queen to g1 checkmate, but queen c5 simply prevents uh, the queen from coming to g1 and also uh, prepares uh, pawn to c8 with queen. So after c7, we have queen to c3, uh, preventing the pawn to be queened on c8, but here Carlsen simply plays queen to c5. Uh, and here, black really has no moves if you trade uh, queens then it's all over white will just bring another queen into the game so caruana has to try something he's extremely low on the clock and everything is against him he's down two points in the match and this is just uh, it was just hard to watch this he played queen to e3 he he has to try and make something happen okay if carlson plays a slow move then still it it's simply not enough uh, Carlsen plays c8, he brings another queen into the game, we have f4 here by Caruana, and now Carlsen simply plays queen back to g4, uh, not allowing f3, although not that f3 was any kind of a threat. But here, with two queens on the board, uh, Caruana decided to resign game 3, and it was basically in this position on move 51 that Fabiano Caruana resigned the game. Uh, Magnus Carlsen won the third game of the Rapids, and with three games in a four-game match, uh, Magnus Carlsen is uh, the 2018 World Chess Champion, so he managed to remain his, uh, retain his title, and uh, yeah, it was uh, it was really exciting. After after 12 games of classical, you know, no cracks in the armor were made. Uh, 12 draws in 12 classical games. Uh, now Carlsen is uh, presented with this opportunity to, to to try and go for it in a quicker time format, and he manages to beat Fabiano with uh, with three to zero. Okay, this uh, third game wasn't so clean as uh, Caruana basically couldn't afford the draw, so he had to push, 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 and then this is what happens. Uh, but yeah, such is life, and you know, such were the rules <coughs> uh, of this World Chess Championship uh, event. So yeah, uh, very interesting and. Uh... You know, this is the this is now after after the match with Karakin. Uh, this is now again the second time Carlson wins his title, not in the classical time format, but rather as the classical time format was drawn in the Rapids. So it's interesting. Will Will Fide do something about this? Maybe add more games to the classical time format? Maybe change something? I don't know. Uh, are you satisfied with how things are now, or would you prefer something else? And uh, it's. Uh, uh, if you think about it, uh, when Carlsen played against Anand in 2013, uh, he won the match without losing a single game. Then uh, in the return match with Anand in 2014, uh, Anand uh, won uh, one game. Uh, then in the match against Karyakin, only one game was lost. Uh, you know, Carlsen lost only one game. And now against Karyakin, again, uh, he didn't lose a single game. So if you think about it, in four World Chess Championship matches, Carlsen lost two games, so that's basically half a game per World Chess Championship match. Uh, that's definitely not bad. Uh, but yeah, uh, like I said, uh, the videos were a bit shorter, but the, these are rapid games, and I decided to show them as they are being played rather than, you know, just uh, waiting and do them tomorrow or something like that. So I, I do hope you didn't mind that, and uh, I do hope you enjoyed the, the, the rapid uploads as well as the rapid games. Uh, I would also like to thank uh, Alexandras Papis, uh, Lavorare Meglio, uh, Kaleb Luper, uh, Thomas Visek, and uh, Peter Brenningmeier for your contribution to my channel. Thank you a lot, I really appreciate it. Uh, as usual, you can 
check two of my previous videos here. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you soon uh, as the World Chess Championship is over now. We will uh, enjoy some games uh, from your suggestions, uh, prepare uh, a different... Uh, a different series and also uh, the World Blitz and Rapid Championship uh, are approaching so we're gonna enjoy that as well pretty soon. Uh, so thank you all and I will see you soon.